Most watchers of the show know I've been a huge fan of On Holding, the Swiss sneaker company with a stock that's now up more than 92% for the year. These guys are rapidly expanding their initial focus on running shoes into a larger set of products, including apparel. And I think it's worth taking a closer look. By the way, I also urge younger people that this would be the stock I would buy. Earlier today, we had a chance to sit down with Lawn Holdings co-CEO and CFO Martin Hoffman at the company's newly opened beautiful store in Williamsburg, neighborhood of Brooklyn, not that far from where I live. I want you to take a look. Martin, this is so exciting. It's a brand new store, but I have to ask you, why Williamsburg? Because we were so excited to finally be here. This is our first real, true community store. So, of course, we have the store over in Manhattan and NoHo, but there's a lot of tourism there. And right. here, it's really about building the store for the community, really growing with the families in the area. I mean, it's a, it's a vibrant city. Uh, we have a fun and a run really every week, every Tuesday. Uh, doesn't matter how fast you go. You go down to East River, uh, take you on a nice run. Afterwards, have a, have a good time here together. We have a dedicated space on the first floor. And really, we took all the learnings from all our other stores in and around the world into that store, really highlighting our running competence, highlighting apparel. So super excited to be here. Uh, the store is open already, but on Saturday, we actually have the big opening party. The full block will be closed and then uh, we're really going. Well, I want to be clear. Uh, you make performance shoes that are often worn as fashion shoes, and yet you make clear that the community understands the performance side uh, in the building itself. Yeah, and it's not a, it's not a conflict. It's right. actually it's it's a together conflict. because what looks good also makes you feel good makes you move more really enjoying it this is what what we are about it's about igniting the spirits through movement and uh, so we want to make you move how matter no matter how fast you go but we have super fast products here uh, tomorrow actually uh, officially available in our stores is the cloud boom echo so the shoe that helen opiri was uh, wearing for her win at the boston marathon uh, just in march this year and uh, but we also have a uh, our, our tennis-inspired collection here, uh, of course, with Wimbledon going on at the moment, very hot. Now, I know that right now you've decided let's use those additional dollars for awareness. Is this store and others you're opening, including London, which I understand is magnificent, about building awareness for this great brand? I think it's, this one is really about connecting with the community, okay. really being here for the families around it, uh, for, the, for the neighbors. Um, Watch out, you know so, I'm a neighbor. Yes, I, I know, so <laughs> please come by for the, for the runs. And uh, London is, is a very different animal, um, very, very huge store, but great success. Uh, fun story, I've just been in London. Uh, the highest checkout that we had in the London store was 72 pairs from one person. So Ooh. it was quite amazing. Okay, so let's speak about the brand. A lot of people feel that you were born yesterday, so therefore you're, uh, you could be the next Fila, unfortunately, or Reebok, or a Black Knight, or, 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 you know, uh, or, or Under Armour, all of which failed against Nike. But you're not a newcomer to this space. No, we are here now since 13 years, and we have grown extremely steady over time, and we are a premium performance brand. And right. so we really pay a lot of attention to our distribution, being premium, and retail is an important element now. It really elevates how you experience the brand. It's the only place in the physical world where you can actually see all the different models, the full apparel line. And uh, we have seen it in London. All of a sudden, you have a huge uptick in, in e-com. Uh, Harrods next door makes more revenue, sees more inflow of apparel requests. Um, so it's really working. I know that you are surprisingly uh, aware of the need for gross margins to be up. You want to hit a 60 level. You're very uh, happy that your big expenses that had to do with COVID are all gone now. Uh, totally. I mean, uh, really, the organization has now much more time to focus on the long term and growing and uh, not taking care so much about short term air freight and, and port congestions topics. Uh, so really, we are out of we are out of that. Uh, we can fully look forward again, and uh, this is reflected in our guidance. We continue to see really strong demand also now in the, in the last weeks, and uh, yeah, we are positive. 
You know, I anointed you as part of our group, but for younger people who wanted to buy stocks because we feel this is the brand. At the same time, there are analysts who keep saying that there's too much discounting. Now, a lot of that was Nike saying it's very competitive. What in my experience and my looking at your brand from behind the scenes, I do not see discounting or inventory problems. I see fresh new merchandise that seems to fly off the shelves. Am I right? Or do people are people who are, uh, let's say, circumspect about growth, right about your brand? I think you're right. Um, and this is how we see it as well. Um, so really, we, we are clean in terms of inventory in the channel. Yes, we have too much inventory in our own warehouses, but it's only a timing issue. It's not old inventory. And with the strong growth that we are having and the fact that we really control now the inflow of inventory, um, we're in a good position. The winners in your space have been known to innovate and constantly put out new and better and different. The losers stick with the same, believing that you must stay if whatever's successful. You seem to be at the forefront of coming up with new brands constantly. And this is all about the team. And uh, really, we have so strong innovators from all the different areas, materials scientists, chemists, uh, biotechnologists. And uh, it's really amazing to see what's in the pipeline, but it's what's already there. Take the cloud server, for example, the shoe that launched earlier this year. It's uh, almost the best-selling model now with the new outsole technology cloud tech phase. And uh, it's my favorite shoe now, so I run it all the time. All right. I know it's for runners, but tennis, Wimbledon's coming up. Will you be represented? Well, we have Igor Swiatek, so the winner from uh, the French Open, which of course was a huge highlight for us, uh, winning the first Grand Slam. Uh, we have Ben Shelton, really a, a young, upcoming uh, uh, American and a really great person. Uh, he'd just been over in, in our Zurich Well, offices. I expect him to be and on display at the US Open. Yeah, and I think both are playing just right now, so uh, wish them good luck. Uh, Olympics next year. I know Nike's excited. Will they be surprised to see that on Cloud. We will be there, uh, so we are excited as well. Uh, Why aren't you intimidated by Nike? Why don't you say, you know what, uh, no matter what we do, everyone who has tried to take Nike on has failed? We have, we have a really highly innovative product. Uh, we have proven, I mean, we have now the winner from the Ironman. We have uh, the winner of the Boston Marathon. We have the winner of the, of the French Open in our product. And uh, we have a great... Uh, engine that is that is really about creativity and we will we will show up at big times in Paris. Okay, so let, let's talk about what's happened in America with your brand. I see it everywhere, but I tend not to see it necessarily on sports. I see it for people who now work at home, who are part of what I would regard as the Lulu generation. Do you ever compare and contrast a Lulu to yourself? Well, I actually see it differently. I just okay. been to Colorado, I've been to Portland, I've been at the Oregon coast, and you know, I'm running every day, so I saw a lot of people running in the, in the products. I see a lot of people just wearing it every day, uh, but really a, a very inclusive mix of people uh, wearing it. So it's really great to see where we are in, in, in the US. Uh, I will be flying to China tonight, and it's the first time after almost four years that I will be there. Last time we were about 15 people, now we're 150 people in China. So really looking forward uh, to, to see how honest is pressed. I understand there. Beijing, Shanghai. Uh, well, Shanghai, Chengdu, Hong Kong as well. Yeah. Okay, so what is lightning and rain? Lightning and rain. So lightning is all about creating the fastest products and really uh, just, uh, yeah, creating that, that flash, that lightning. But that doesn't matter if in the end it actually rains and we, we are commercially successful. And this is what we call lightning and rain. Okay, I was thinking that rain also could be, I don't want to overlook, apparel. Because I think that apparel may be an adjacency that could come on very strong. Totally. And we also have great lightning products in apparel. Um, and the rain is visible here in, in the store already in the first days. 24% of uh, sales were on apparel. Uh, and you see there's much more space here reserved for apparel. So it's really coming. We see the traction, uh, but it's a multi-year project. I know that Nike praised dicks. I was shocked to see how many dicks you are in and how many you'll build, you will be. Yeah, I mean, right now we are only in a little bit over 50 stores. Um, so we are expanding, but expanding very carefully. 
for us, it's all about durable growth. We want to right. grow long term. So we don't need to chase anything in the next one or two years. Uh, we are here for the long term, and this is how we steered. And luckily, we have so much demand at the moment. We are in control of our growth. Well, we appreciate your coming on Mad Money. It means a great deal. We think that your stock is the best in the group and maybe the best in apparel because it's the growth that you have, I think, is very sustainable because your business model is new and innovation, and that's what matters in your business. I want to thank Martin Hoffman. He's on holding co-CEO and CFO. Uh, you've done a remarkable job, and I want to congratulate you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for coming to this stuff.